everyone. My name is Elad Lopes. Today we are going to discuss about uh, Oracle Data Transforms and how we can configure REST APIs on this tool. So before we move on on this uh, demo, uh, please join the, the community that we have on, on Slack. So here you have the link. Uh, we, you can get uh, daily updates and weekly updates about uh, what uh, we are doing here at Oracle. Okay, so with uh, very nice videos. So the speaker for this session is just me. Okay, I'm already presented. Now let's just move to the uh, to the next slide. Uh, that is basically explaining what we are going to see here during the during the demo. So we are going to configure REST APIs, two different REST APIs. Okay. So which type of connectors do we have on Oracle Data Transforms? First, uh, we have the generic REST connector. Okay. And then you have the generic REST config connector. So what are the main differences between these two? The first one is included in all uh, data transforms deployments. However, the second one is just included in the marketplace. So just a quick recap, we, you have uh, data transforms on autonomous database under OCI code and gate deployments and also on the marketplace. So the rest config just in the marketplace. So that's the, the main difference, one of those. After the generic REST connector behind the scenes uses the, the autonomous database JSON capabilities and the REST API capabilities, okay? Actually, it's mandatory to have a, an autonomous database connection created to use this connector. Without that, you cannot use it. And after the generic REST config uses a JDBC driver, okay? And requires a config file that uh, we are going to see uh, during the demo. So that those are, let's say, the main differences. Let me just move to the and uh, switch to the to the tool. Uh, uh, here we go. Now here is the home page. So let me just move to the connections and create the first connection. We click on create connection connection. Let me just select rest and here generic rest. Click next. Now here uh, I'm going to use a Spotify API. So. so by REST, okay? You could use, of course, a different API. This is just an example. Here, the, the proxy host and port, uh, I, I'm going to, to leave it blank. So in case that you have uh, the, the instance behind the firewall or something like that, you should uh, configure it. The username and password for this API doesn't require, but however, it's required in the UI. So I'm just going to put dummy okay as a username and password again is not required for this api and here is where you need to, to select the, the autonomous database connection what we call staging connection and in this case it's going to be adw1 okay i'm going to click on test connection successfully and now let me just click on create okay and yeah that's it now we go to the data entities and we click on import data entities. Here we select uh, the connection that we created, Spotify REST, the schema that we have already configured on that uh, on that database. And here now under resources, this is the important part. Here on the resource URI, we are going to to we are going to put part of the of the API. So after if you if you check the the Spotify documentation for REST APIs, you see that this API uh, has the slash v1 slash, okay? And here under this part is what we call it the operation uh, URI, okay? And we need to give a name. So this example, I'm just uh, just getting information from a specific artist, okay? So I'm going to put here the name for, the, for this operation that is artist, but it's just a name could be completely different, okay? What is really important is here on the operation URI, okay? And here is where I'm going to copy and paste the rest of the API that is artists slash the unique ID of that artist, okay? This is important. Now, if I click uh, test resource, probably is going to fail since uh, I don't have here any authentication method, okay? Since this API uses the OAuth 2 what I did previously is to generate a, a bear token and I'm going to use here on the header parameters. Right now it's not possible to, to have the, the token generate automatically. Okay, so you need to have a token valid for X amount of time. Okay, now let me just add here 
and I'm going to put authorization and let me just paste the, the BERT token to not have any type OK and I'm going to click OK now I click on test resources successfully connected and after I could add more so uh, and after I could use the those uh, uh, those APIs. So let me just move here a little bit. I click start and it's going to generate a job. Okay. And the main goal of this job is to, is to bring the, the structure of the API. Okay. So here you see it went well. Now, if I go to data entities, yeah, I have a few artists. Now here we have all the, uh, uh, all the attributes that uh, API retrieves, okay? And we have it here under payload, dollar, and after name, okay? Now, let me just close this part. So, what we've seen was configure uh, a generic REST connector for the Spotify. After we import the data ent entity, we specify the specific uh, endpoint for the, for the API, and we uh, import it into data transforms. So, after the next uh, step would be uh, load the data into into the database, for example. Okay, but before I do that, let me just configure the second uh, connector. Okay, and uh, and after we can load uh, both uh, uh, both sources at the same time. Okay, so I'm going again to connections. Click create connection. Again, search for REST, and now I click on generic uh, REST config. Okay. Now I have it here somewhere, my uh, my my file. So give me just a, a second to uh, to find it. Okay, just uh, search for the. Okay, now I'm just going to drag and drop the file okay it's here now here i have the jdbc url i don't need all these uh, files okay what i'm going to do is replace for something that is much easier to understand okay and again i'm just doing copy and paste to not have any typo now i'm going to explain so here what i did so basically i, I kept almost everything so the server name is here it's mandatory okay this is the uh, the rest api that we are going to use as a test and after here we put the exact same name for uh, for the file that i just uploaded again here username and password are not mandatory i can test the connection and it's successful okay uh, so let me just give a different name for example rest uh, okay and i create now before i move on let me just show here the example so the the file that I uploaded is this one and has this structure. Okay, so here is the, the endpoint. Uh, here we have after the users and here the structure. Okay, this is how it looks like. Also, one of the advantage if you want to use this uh, REST connector is that in case that your customers or you are using already REST APIs and have the config file, they just need to upload it and after the, the structure is, uh, is entirely retrieved. Okay, so also it's something different that uh, you have it compared and you have more control basically as well. Uh, you can remove here some uh, so, some columns if you don't want it. Now, let me just do the same. Go to uh, data entities and import them. Here, I'm going to select REST config. It's a different one. The schema is the auto REST schema. And here, you don't need to, uh, to change it. Let's just uh, click on start as well and uh, yeah it was quite fast so let's just see if we if have it here and as you can see here we have it the the users that is from that api and we have the the same columns also we also we can check on preview and we should see some data okay so, great now as a next step just to finalize the demo let's just go to projects and let's just load this data into autonomous okay now, uh, here's my project folder. I'm going to create a data flow. And this data flow is going to have a, a name. It's going to be demo. Wait a second. Click create. 
Now I need to the first time that I that I, I log in here in the in the data folds, I need to select the connection that I'm going to use. So as a, as a target, I'm going to use autonomous. So it will be this one, ADW1, and the schema will be admin. Okay, I'm just going to click uh, import. And again, I just need to click on, on star. Well, here actually, I really don't want to uh, to bring everything that I have there. Uh, so um, let me just, uh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, let's just do a start. Uh, I, I just, uh, I'm just realizing that uh, I might have some tables there and I don't want to bring all them, but yeah, it uh, doesn't matter. Uh, so right now what he's doing is doing the, the import data entities. So something that uh, at the first time that, that we log in. Uh, so actually I have here the database uh, open. Uh, so this is the, the table that is going to, uh, to to bring. Okay, some of those were created during the during the process. So I have it here. Uh, so, wait, sorry, let me just... Uh... And meanwhile, I'm going to add the the other two, so here the rest config, okay. And also the Spotify, okay. Actually, this one, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to use these ones and after I create the targets automatically, okay. So let's just start by the Spotify, just drag and drop. And automatically, I'm going to create the target. So I just put here. The name will be artist uh, demo. Uh, I could double check. I don't have here any artist demo. Right, right. And the connection type will be Oracle and admin. Now here, for example, I don't need to select all them. So for example, I can remove this one or even I can remove more. Now I click next and I click save. Okay. And I can always validate if it's fine. Just check it is. And now I, I can do the same. So I can drag and drop users. Uh, by the way, uh, something that you can check uh, here on the target, this, was created automatically, but after here, you can see that it's creating the target and so on. Okay. So just, but just for your, your information. So now the same process here, users demo. I don't have any users demo here. Exactly. And the same, the same schema here. I can keep uh, all the columns and just click save. Okay, now again, I can validate this. It's going to say I, I have uh, multiple uh, uh, multiple data folds that are not supported. So let me just, it was just an example. So let me just remove this one and I just uh, uh, load it. Okay, now it should be valid. It is now let's just load this one and after we can uh, create one specific for uh, for for the users. Okay. Now go here, and this should go well. Uh, yeah, it is. Now, it was just a couple of records. Now, if I go here and refresh this, I should have an artist demo here. And here I have the, uh, the the information. Okay, so let me just uh, go back to the to the presentation. Okay, so we've seen how to configure first for the REST connector. After for the REST config connector, I hope that you have enjoyed this uh, this demo. Okay, after if you have any any doubt, uh, you can write on comments. Okay. So thanks a lot for your time.